This week in the Mount Sinai Spotlight, experts react to new research on drugs that treat hepatitis C and raising awareness about cervical cancer. My name is Dr. Nagarshath. I'm an associate professor in the Division of Gynecologic Oncology. Almost 99% of cervical cancers seem to be related to an infection of the human papillomavirus. So following the recommendations of your gynecologist and having a good relationship with that gynecologist is very important in helping prevent cervical cancer because the pap smear and human papillomavirus vaccination is actually very, very helpful in lowering your risk for cervical cancer. If you're not eligible for vaccination for human papillomavirus, there are still things that you can do to help prevent. Limit your sexual partners. Know who your sexual partners are. Make sure you don't have a high-risk sexual partner. If you use condoms, then you're gonna have a barrier protection. Having that, again, close relationship with your physician to make sure that you're on track, you don't miss appointments being compliant and following their recommendations is really the best thing that you can do to help prevent developing cervical cancer in the future. I'm Dr. Douglas Dietrich, I'm professor of medicine. The Institute for Safe Medicine Practices recently released a report on the safety of medications for hepatitis C. I'm concerned that patients will be worried about the toxicity of medication when there is a vanishingly small numbers of patients who ever get liver toxicity from hepatitis C medications. They noted that there were 165 deaths out of 250,000 patients, which is a fatality rate of 0 .00066, an enormously low fatality rate, probably one that's actually less than that of patients with significant liver disease. The important thing is if you have hepatitis C, the medicines are very safe. You should get tested if you're concerned. You should get treated if you're infected. And we can cure about 99% of patients in the real world nowadays without uh, any significant side effects.